declared an end for Eastern Security Network in the Southeast as he takes this decision. On the 15th of January 1970, the Biafran troops surrendered to the Nigerian army and plead for one Nigeria. They joined the moving cargo to build a strong nation bonded by unity and peace. Today, IPOP Group through its security outfit ESN has become a threat to the unity of Nigeria. The Eastern Security Network was formed by self-acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nnamdi Kanu. He fashioned the group in a way that makes it difficult to track down. Kanu had stated earlier that the Eastern Security Network group won't cause any problem but going by the way things are happening now, the Eastern Security Network needs to be dissolved. Series of complaints about the Eastern Security Network has emerged following the operation in the eastern part of Nigeria. They have launched attacks on both the army and police officers, which mounts to the deaths of many security operatives. The Eastern Security Network might appear unstoppable now, but they might cease to exist if the Nigerian army takes this decision. According to the army chief Atero, he said, if the army decides to launch Operation Python Dance in the five eastern states, that would be the end of the Eastern Security Network. Operation Python Dance is a program initiated by the Nigerian Army to keep every community in check and to fish out all bad eggs that might be causing trouble within the neighborhood. Recall that this program was launched in Abia State some years back and Mazen Namdekanu had to jet out of the country overnight if the army decided to launch the program again. Believe me, Eastern Security Network will end, he says. Thank you for listening to this news. Stories. Stories. I don't know. I don't know why the this continuity of um, of why the continuity of this unnecessary threat coming from the from the uh, army chief Atairo. I think Atairo is now talking too much. It's not talking too much, and that's what I'm going to say. Of course, what do you expect me to say? You see, action they say speaks louder than the voice. This Operation Python Dance it has been lamenting on it over and over and over. Um, during the uh, Buratai period, Buratai also lamented, bragged, noised. He said, don't force me to uh, to, to, to unleash Operation Python Dance. This, that, do that. See, if you want to release Operation Python Dance, release it. IPOP will still remain IPOP. The one you, they unleashed in Abia was because Nambikano was still in Nigeria. Not now that Nambikano has gained ground and support in over 120 countries in Nigeria and you think that when you only search, you go scot-free you can never go scot-free so you better retreat your, your, your threats I'm telling you because releasing the operation Python dance is what will now lead to that very war that you are done, that you people have been running away from and you now see the support 
that IPOP and the Biafrans are not going to get. We'll now see if Nigeria will get that support that it got then in 1967. It's not going to be violent too. Nobody is going to kill or fight anybody. But Nigeria will just see how they will be denied. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You see that? You see how people are denying themselves now since yesterday. You know? Saying, no, it's not high purple. No, it's not in the canoe. These people are innocent. That is how the Americans, the British, the Egyptians, all those people that give you support then, will deny you. That's how they will deny you. You understand? So, get prepared. Don't stop. Stop threatening. Stop the threats. Because to me, I don't like threats. I don't like the threats. You see that? Because all this, to me, I would call it to be a challenge. If you unleash it, good and fine. But there is something I must let you know. That before you start doing anything of such, be ready to contend with the ICC, according to Femi Falano, to President Momo Bore. Be ready. Because even you yourself will not be able to, to believe what the end is going to be. You're not going, you, you, you won't believe it. Do you think that you will get hold of 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 Biafrans or you you you, you kill the Biafrans and go scot free? Do you think so? Never. You can't. Because posterity will always come after you. Will always come after you. You 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 you, you are threatening IPOP that they should, they should do what? They should surrender or what? Are they at war with anybody? Are they, are they challenged? Did they invade the army barrack? Did, did, you, did you see them killing anyone? Who did they kill? Who did they fought? Hmm. See, there is something that is not good that the army are doing. And that is taking advantage of the civilians. You understand? And this is what they did in 1967. They took advantage of the civilians, massacred them, you know, and disposed them. Now they want to take the same advantage this very period. Forgetting that we are now in a modern age, that the world are now are now watching. It can be possible. It can be possible. So, my viewers, let me hear from you at least and know what you have to say concerning this. If you're new on this channel, click on the red subscribe button as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.